Ho, ho, ho. Bloomin' Cheesy here. I oh, I hope you do like this. This is a treat. I'm reading a book. There's three parts in it. This is part one. Okay? Hope you guys do like. Hope you guys do comment right down there. Oh. And hope you guys do subscribe to me. Looking at you. Let's get to it. Let's start reading him. The year was 1954. The place was a county suburb of Los Angeles called Anaheim. The land, as Walt Disney later recalled, was all flat, no rivers, no mountains, no castle, no rocket ships, just arm groves and a few acres of walnut trees. Many miles away and many years before, a persistent idea had begun in the mind of Walter Elias Disney. Disneyland really began, Walt said, when my two daughters were very young. Saturday was always daddy's day, and I would take them to the merry-go-round and sit on a bench eating peanuts while they rode and sitting there alone I felt there should be some thing built some kind of family park where parents and children could have fun together over a period of 20 years, the dream that was to become Disneyland grew and grew because it had no precedent. There were no simple solutions in the design and construction. Everything was one of a kind. From a medieval castle whose drawbridge though functional, has been raised but once to the 14-story st tall Matterhorn Mountain built of concrete and 500 tons of steel. On July 17, 1955, a year and a day after construction began, Walt Disney's persistent idea, his new concept in family entertainment, became reality. On the pages of this souvenir pictorial, Walt Disney's own words describe his philosophy for each land in Disneyland. These basic ideas remain today, as they have since the concept for Disneyland began. Main Street, USA. Many of us fondly remember our small hometown in its friendly way of life as the turn of the century. To me, this era represents an important part of our nation, nation's heritage. On Main Street, we have in 
endeavored to rapture those bygone years. Here is America in 1890 to 1910 at the crossroads of an era. Here the gas lamp is giving way to the electric lamp and a newcomer the sputtering horseless carriage has challenged old Dobbin to the streetcar right of way. America was built in transition. The discoveries of late 19th century were changing our way of life. When you visit the arcades, the ice cream parlor, the market house, and cinema, where silent films play, we hope you will visualize, as I or we often do, your own hometown main street, or the one your parents and grandparents have told you about. Main Street is everyone's hometown, the heartline of America. In Town Square, too, you will find the depot for the Disneyland Railroad. Here, 1890 trains depart for a grand circle tour of the Magic Kingdom, climaxed by breathtaking Grand Canyon diorama and the primeval world. For those of us who remember the carefree times it recalls, Main Street will bring back happy memories. For younger visitors, it is an adventure, turning back the calendar to the days of grandfather's youth. Some of these do have captions. We're not going through those today. Adventureland. The spirit of adventure is often linked with an exotic tropic places. Many of us dream of traveling to those mysterious far off regions of the, of the world to create a land which was made this dream reality. We pictured ourselves far from civilization in the remote jungles of Asia and Africa. The result is Adventureland, the wonderland of nature's own design. Here, through a unique combination of living plants and lifelike animals, we have created a true to-life safari that takes you down winding tropic rivers. Colorful plants, ferns, and flowers grow to the water's edge as explorers' boats carry you into the misty rainforest of the Amazon, a hippopotamus filled Congo in the swirling rapids of the Nile. A venture looks around every bend in the rivers. Crocodiles guard on in, are on, at an ancient shrine. Indian elephants splash in a scared bathing pool. In the grasslands of an African velvet, lions and zebras and giraffes 
portray the law of the jungle, survival of the fittest. Elephants, gorillas, hippos, head hunters, even the humorous trapped safari. You'll meet them all in Tropic Adventure Hunt. <laughs>